The patient sits with the hand supinated and arm supported. The probe is placed transversely over the distal end of the radius and moved one to two centimeters distally. The median nerve appears hypoechoic with a hyperechoic rim. Beneath it, the flexor digitorum tendons are speckled. Movement of the fingers identifies the flexor digitorum tendons. The probe is moved to the radial side. Flexor carpi radialis and flexor pollicis are identified. Movement of the thumb identifies flexor pollicis longus. Moving radially, the radial artery is observed pulsating. The probe is now moved to the ulnar aspect of the carpal tunnel. Flexor digitorum tendons are observed on the ulnar aspect of the median nerve and ulnar artery and nerve are observed outside the flexor retinaculum.